hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so today we're solving question 10 from tutorial sheet 4 so the question says find the zeros of each of the following polynomial functions and then uh, sketch its graph indicating the x and the y intercepts so i'll start with the first question here the first question is saying p of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared uh, minus 7x plus 12 so how do you do how do you solve such uh what's this an ex so how do you solve such a a quadratic equation i don't know why this is coming up all right so how do you solve such so if they ask you to find uh, the zeros you don't you don't have to get confused they are just trying to tell you to say factorize this uh expression factorize it yeah so how do you factorize it Remember what we said, whenever you've been told to factorize a polynomial, you simply start first by uh, finding the, what's this? The, you simply start first by finding the, 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 what's this? The factor, the first factor, which is found by try and error method. So we can try uh, these numbers here. So we can try, it, uh, maybe, uh, we can try one. When you put one there, we're going to have one minus 2 and then minus 7 you can see that this cannot give us a 0 so this one has refused let us try to test um, 2 maybe 2 let's try 2 when we put 2 there we're going to have 8 then when we put 2 there we're going to have another 8 and then when we put 2 there we're going to have negative 14 so it has refused. Let's try negative 2. When we put negative 2 there, we'll get negative 8. When we put uh, negative 2 there, we'll get minus 8 again. And then when we put negative 2 there, we'll get positive uh, 14. So when you add this, I don't think this can give you a 2. Let's try uh, maybe 3. Put 3 there, you get 27. Put 3 there, you get negative 18. Put 3 there, you get negative 21. Then we say plus 12. So when we add this, what are we getting? So when we add this, we're getting a 0. So hence, uh, 3 is uh, one of uh, the what's this, members of the zeros. So we're trying to say x is equal to 3. Meaning one of the zeros that were found is x minus 3. So x minus 3 is one of the zeros. In other words, the, these zeros are just called factors. It's one of the factors. So after finding uh, this factor, we can now divide it using synthetic division. Synthetic division, meaning we we'll get this 3, we'll put it there. Then we have 1, we have negative 2 there. We have negative 7. And then we have 12. So we bring down that 1, we multiply 3 times 1, we get 3, we add this, we get 1, 3 times 1, we get 3, we add uh, this, we get 4, we get negative 4, sorry. So we get negative 4. When you multiply this, we get negative 12. When you add that, you get a 0. So from there, you can now conclude to say uh, what, we've, what we found here was correct because we've gotten the remainder, which is 0. And then we can now uh, write it in this format so we have x squared and then minus sorry plus x then we have minus 4 and then let us now try to find if there are numbers that we can use to factorize this expression okay so if you can't find the numbers then this is just also one zero so the, we have this and this to be zeros. Now, how do we find the x and the y intercepts? So to find the x and the y intercepts, you simply equate all these to zero. I mean, to find the x intercepts, you equate to th these to zero. To find the y intercept, you just put a zero where there's x, and then put zero, zero, zero. So meaning the y intercepts, the, let, let us just find the y intercept in advance. So the y intercept is just y is equal to uh, 12. That is the y-intercept. 
when you put zero is where there is x there in other ways you just find p of zero and then to find the x intercepts you equate this to zero so when you equate x uh, minus three to zero you are going to find x to be equal to uh, positive three so meaning at one one point at which the curve is going to cut the x axis it is at x is equal to three to find the other one since we know to say this one is not able to be factorized if you can factorize it good for you you can try it on your paper see the values of x that you are going to get but for me i'm going to use the formula method so the value of the other two values of x are going to be found by using the formula method which is x is equal to negative b so it's, this will be negative one and then plus or minus the root of uh, b squared the root of b squared meaning it's going to be one squared which is just the same as one minus four my a is one and then my c is uh, negative four then everything divide by two a a is one so i just i can just write two so when you multiply these two you know you're going to get um something like this when you simplify this you're going to get uh, I think 17 so you get 17 here so from there you can now say the other two values of x that you have um, the other two values of x that you have are simply these here we have negative 1 plus the root of 17 over 2 and negative 1 minus the root of 17 over 2. Okay, so let us now quickly move on to sketching the uh, graph. So these are the x-intercepts that we found. So how do you now sketch the graph? You do it this way. You write a 0 there. Put in your x intercepts and the y intercepts. So the y before we put the y, let us put the x first. So the first x intercept that we have is three. We have three there, and then the other one is um, negative one minus the root. I mean negative one minus the root of three. I mean minus the root of seventeen. And then divide by 2 so that one is just equivalent to maybe I'll put it at this point somewhere here because it will give us a negative number and then so I'll say negative 1 minus root 17 over 2 and then the other one is um, the root to find the what's this the factors for the last question let's pick uh, maybe let's try to put one so when you put one there we're going to have 2 minus 15 plus 24 plus 16 so 2 minus 15 we're getting negative 13 plus 24 try that if, if it's going to give you so it's not giving us zero we move on to the next uh, uh, trying uh, method we try another number let's try for instance maybe negative one if x is equal to negative one put negative one there so we're going to have negative two here then from negative two there you have uh, minus 15 then you have minus 24 and then you have 16 this uh, can also not give us um, this can also not give us zero so let us also try another one let's take for instance we try two we put two there we're going to have eight times two that's 16 okay and then we have 15 15 times 4 15 times 4 
gives us 60 so I can write 60 there and then we have 2 times 24 2 times 24 will give us 48 and then plus 16 so we can see to say 16 plus 16 will give us 32 32 minus uh, 60 plus 48 let's see if it's going to give us 0 so this is not giving us 0 as well so let us try to test uh, maybe 4 we skip some numbers let's try to test a bigger number maybe 4 so let's try uh, x try x is equal to 4 so when you put 4 there 4 to the power 3 is 64 times uh, 2 which is 128 128 minus 15 times uh, 16 min plus 24 times uh, 4 then plus 16 let's see what this what this is going to give yeah so this is giving us a zero so meaning um, x is equal to uh, 4 meaning the factor or the zero one zero that we found is x minus 4 so this is one zero so let us find the other two zeros by using th synthetic division so we have the coefficients there we have two we have negative 15 then we have uh, 24 then we have 16 so bring down these two we multiply we get 8 there then when you add the two you are going to get negative 7 you multiply get negative 14 when you add here you get um, is it 10 you get 10 10 wait so we said we brought down this we multiply this and that get 8 when you add this you are getting uh, when you add this you are getting se negative 7 and then negative 7 times that you are getting negative 4 uh, sorry 4 times 7 negative 28 okay Then when you add 28 and 24 there, you get uh, 4, a negative 4 there. Okay, so when you multiply 4 times negative 4, you get negative 16. And then when you add these two there, you get a 0. So this implies that our factor is correct, or our 0 is correct there. So we can now write it in this format, where we say x uh, minus 4 then the quadratic equation there will be uh, 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 so it's just a matter of factorizing this so this will give you 8 and then negative 7 there negative 8 and negative 7 so we can therefore say uh, 2x squared and then we know to say negative 8 times 1 so we say x uh, minus 8 x minus 4 so you're going to have this so you factorize x this side then you're going to have 2x in brackets plus 1 and then another so you factorize here again so negative 4 is common there we can say 2x plus 1 there and then we write it this way and then we're going to have something like this 2x plus 1 then we have x minus 4 there 
So these are the zeros that the question is asking us to find. So since uh, x minus 4 is repeating itself, you can just, yeah, if you want, you can write x minus 4 squared. So this is, I mean, these are the zeros that uh, the question is asking us to find. So now, having found these zeros, we can now uh, find, uh, what's this? You can now find, um, we can now sketch the graph. To find the x-intercepts, you equate this to zero. And then you find your first value of x to be equal to 4. The other value of x is just going to be negative 1 over 2. The y-intercept, you simply just get uh, the constant there, which is 16. So when it comes to sketching, this is how you do it. You put in your, your intercepts. You have 1 have 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2 there, and then we have 4, somewhere there, and then it's cutting the, the, y, the, the y axis, it's cutting the y axis at um, 16, so meaning it's coming like this, Though I'm not really sure about this one, because um, if we're having two, if we're having equal roots, oh wow, I remember what this means now. So since we're having two equal roots, so meaning here it's going to cross uh, the what's this, the the x-axis, but at this point, it's going to be, it's it's just going to touch the x-axis so to not cross. So this is what it means when you have two equal roots. Remember on quadratic uh, equation when finding the roots. So this point is the one that we are calling uh, positive 16 now. So where it's cutting the x-axis, it's not necessarily the turning point, but it's cutting the x-axis. So in other words, what I'm trying to say is this. Let me just draw it properly. Because some of you might think 16 is the, uh, what's this, is the turning point so this is what it means okay and then here it will just bounce at one and goes up so this is what it means so this is how you basically sketch the graph over uh, these polynomials so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial i would have solved a lot of questions now these questions are too long when it comes to solving them that's the reason why i've just decided to pick two so just just finding there was this the first zero there you saw what happened we tried a lot of numbers until we skipped we went to four and it accepted so uh let's um what's this let's uh -huh. and then there's another formula if I'm going to remember, I'm going to make a tutorial video on how you can find um, this factor here without solving the quadratic equation. You, you've seen that most of the factors that we're finding are of this kind. But how can you find this kind of a factor? So you can say, you can take the, what's this, the front part here. You can say there's two here. There's also two there. So there's a, what's this, there's a mystery there. There's something that you need to know about that too. How does it come here? and uh, how how is this two related to that two i'm going to explain in in that same video so you guys um see you in the next tutorial video and then you guys uh, one thing that you need to know is that do not uh use ad brokers when you are watching these videos when you're using ad brokers you are affecting my uh, channel do not block any ads you can skip them yes but do not block them you can skip them there's no problem yeah, so see you in the next uh, tutorial video. Uh, shalom, shalom.